Welcome! I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm here with this week's angel messages. So what I'd love for you to do is place your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels in to guide you to message one, two, or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is, once you've watched your message, is move your cursor back to the beginning, invite your angels in, and then move your cursor back and forth until you intuitively feel it's time to stop and right there is an extra message for you from your angels. Okay? All right. So we're using crystal cards today, angel crystal cards. So let's shuffle them. We'll put them next to the heart in a moment. Let's invite in the angels to guide us to exactly the right message for you at this time that will support you that will help you, that will guide you. Okay, all right. Oh, number one, there it is. <laughs> Jade, wellness, it says wellness. So it says the recovery of health and wellness is here. What I love about that is that it has the caduceus. See, going down the center and it has the most beautiful, it's just almost a sense of the different chakras are there, but it seems to stop at green and then go into gold, gold at the top there. So I feel that this is very much about connecting to the heart, connecting to the earth, your body particularly, looking after your body. So that's that wellness with Jade, caring for your body, caring for your physical self, maybe with the foods that you eat, maybe with the environment that you're in maybe with the thoughts that you're having as well because that has a big impact on your body the emotions that are coming through for you at this moment you know when you get stressed when you get upset when you get sad then this also impacts your physical being so it's important to start bringing in light, start focusing on healing, start focusing on lifting your vibration up. And with this green energy of jade, it's coming to the heart. So it's asking you to focus on your heart at this time. So your heart is such an important organ, isn't it? On the physical level, pumps all the blood around your system and it keeps your body nourished and nurtured. So focus on looking after your heart. Ask your heart right now. Ask your heart, what do I need? What do I need to support me right now? What do I need that will bring optimal health? What do I need that will bring balance into my life? What do I need that will help me, support me to open to love, to really bring the expression of love throughout my being? Ask your heart. Because your heart is intelligent, your body is intelligent. It will tell you. You just need to open up to receive the message, the messages, the communication that your heart has for you. To open your heart, communicate with your heart, and listen to your heart. Ooh, I love that. I love that there are wings on the caduceus as well, right there at the top, golden wings. So your angels are saying, this is really important for you right now. It's important for all of us, right? Number two, let's see what's coming up. Number two, oh, I was feeling something that was kind of pinky purple. Sugalite. So this is open your divine power. It says, replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. I love that. So you like, so this is a beautiful violet purple stone. It has a little bit of sort of pinky tinge to it as well. So that energy is lifting you up to your crown chakra, lifting you up to the energy of love, lifting you up to a place where you can look at what is happening in your life. Look at everything that is happening in your life from a different perspective. So the angels are saying the people pleasing part is what are you doing that is compromising you, that is compromising your values, that is saying, okay, no, I need to say no to this. Say no to this person, say no to that experience and say yes to myself. 
So where are you doing that at this moment? That's what your angels want you to look at. Where are you pleasing others or doing something because you feel that you have to do it? And then now look at it from a different perspective. Look at everything around you from a bigger perspective and notice what you're doing and say yes to things that are right for you, no to things that are not right to you. Or to look at things from a different perspective and look at the choices that you can make. Because sometimes, you know, when we want to say yes to ourselves and no to somebody else, it might take a little bit of time to move out of that situation. But you can start now by saying yes to yourself and then making plans to move into that place where the yes energy brings something new into your life that is supportive for you. So sometimes saying no to somebody else, if you've been saying yes all the time and then suddenly saying no, might not be such an easy thing to do. But if you start saying yes to you, yes to your energy, yes to what is right for you, then you can start making plans to move yourself into that yes energy, that yes vibration. So that then you move yourself into a place of happiness and support. So then the violet of the sugi light is about change and transformation. And the pinky color from that is the love that you're focusing on yourself. Because saying yes to you is saying yes to love for you. It's saying that you love yourself enough to say no to something that isn't right for you. Oh, I love that. Okay, final card. Number three. I feel like I want to go back to the beginning here. It's this one. Citrine. I always love it when citrine comes up. So this says, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God, to the divine, for healing and solutions. So that's kind of interesting because, you know, citrine is a stone of abundance. It's a stone of success, but it's also a stone that connects to the solar plexus. And the solar plexus is where we hold our fears, our worries, our anxiety, our concerns, etc. It's like we squeeze it all in there into the solar plexus. So your angels are saying, let's release that. Let's let that go because it's not doing you any good. I can't remember it now, but I remember um, a phrase, a little quote that is about, about worries and concerns. And I don't remember who said it, but it's something like, you know, most of the worries that you have, most of the fears, most of the concerns that you have never happen. But we continue to hold this in our bodies. We continue to hold this in our energy when it's not the truth. So if you were to let that go, what would happen? Nothing. Probably nothing. Because we have these worries, we have these concerns, we have these fears. And what are they based on? They're based on previous experiences. They're based on other people's experiences. They're based on what we hear about in the media or, or what we read about in books, etc. Is it the truth right now? Is it the truth at this moment? So the worries don't get you anywhere. Bad things might happen. Challenges might happen. Problems may be there. But it doesn't make it any better by worrying about it, does it? You know, if we just breeze through it, if we just work through it, we ask for guidance, ask for help, ask for support, ask your angels to guide you through this, then you can let go of your worries. You don't need to have them because your worries don't create solutions. They just create problems within your being, within your solar plexus, where you feel disempowered. So invite your angels in to empower you. Invite your angels in to take these worries from you so that you can clear your solar plexus and let your solar plexus know, let your energy know that you're letting this go, that this part of your being can let this worry go, can let this fear, these concerns go 
because they don't need to be part of your being. They don't need to be part of your life. And instead, welcome in the angels' energy. Welcome in their support, their help, because they will help you with any concerns, any worries that you might have to take them away and bring solutions so that you can release that now. It doesn't need to be part of your being. It isn't helping you. Solutions will help you. So open your energy up to solutions and let go of the worry. <laughs>